Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bullpen. All right, this should be interesting. I have Mr. Hal Lambert, founder and CEO of Point Bridge Capital, creator of MAGA EFT, former Ted Cruz National Financial Chair, okay? Hal Lambert, thank you for being on the show, how are you? Great to be here, thanks Dr. Richie, uh, glad to be on. Absolutely, we're going to talk about the leaked Supreme Court decision that overturns Roe v. Wade. I don't want to presume what you know or believe about that potential decision. So if you would give us your sentiment and I would then opine. Well, I mean, I guess the first thing I'd say is I think the leak itself was orchestrated and it's unfortunate. So I think that's the first thing to be said. As far as the decision, most people have on the Republican side have felt that Roe v. Wade was was badly settled law that was orchestrated by the court that wasn't founded in the Constitution and was due to be to to be reversed. So that that's certainly my opinion, and I think. Putting this back to the states is what this opinion is is putting out. If it's correct and and not changed, then that's it. Looks like that's where we're headed. Let me ask you about the actual wording of the judgment based on what we have as a leaked document. This does return power back to the state, so that's a tenth. That that's part of our tenth amendment of the Constitution. If you agree with that. Do you also agree that a child should start its actual age at conception? For example, would you support legislation to mandate child support begin at conception and not at birth? Would you support that? Uh, yeah. Well, you mean you mean child support? Is that what you're asking? Child uh, support, like- right? If if a child if life is there at conception, would you support legislation? to mandate that child support be paid at conception and not start the clock at birth. Well, it, it, actually there is support for women that don't, don't have means uh, when they're when they're pregnant. Right, no, I got you brother, but would you support federal legislation now? Because this is a federal ruling. Would you support a federal ruling or federal legislation to mandate that child support begins at conception? Well, there, there's not expenses at conception. What? So I, I mean, the purpose minute, of child support, the Pre, the purpose of child support is to offset expenses. Do you expenses. have children? Do you have children? Do you have children, sir? Yes, I have two. So you mean to tell me that when your woman was pregnant with your child, your woman incurred no expenses in order to take care of the child? You didn't have your lady in uh, engage in any prenatal care? Right, but that's what I was saying, that those, those expenses are covered for pe- women that are in poverty. So, so those no, expenses I'm are already about covered. Child support, sir. If the right, child, right. if the You're child a check in the mail, there, if the child is there based on conception, this is simple logic here. If you're <laughs> saying that the child's journey begins at conception, do you support mandating that now federal law or at least federal common law should be in place so that child support begins at conception? If we could do away with abortion, yes, I would support that. Although there are not expenses that would require a check in the mail for someone who has you know, recently become pregnant. I mean, there's yeah, prenatal that, care, but that's different than a check in the mail. Sir, that doesn't make sense to me, that, that's caring for the child. It depends on the circumstance of the mother. Let me ask you this question, is that child inside of the womb, if life begins at conception, as you believe, is that child in fact an American citizen? Well, that goes <laughs> that goes back to uh, something that also is not settled law, which is uh, whether or not just because you're born in the country, does that make you automatically a citizen? That's what's taking place right now. Um, I think I, my that belief is- That actually is, is unfortunately, how you're wrong. That actually is settled law. Just like Roe v. Wade was settled law before they decided to overturn it. And right now, it is still settled law because they have not published a ruling. This ruling is leaked. And both of the justices, Kavanaugh and Gorsuch, they both said that Roe v. Wade was settled law. So you're now saying that your natural birth is not settled law. That's contrary to what the court has said. 
The well, court has uh, said that is settled law. It may not be settled to you, but the court has said it is settled law. I, I, well, there's no law on the books, but I, I would say this. Settled if, common law, sir, it's called settled common law. If, if, if someone's in the country illegally, okay. uh, then then no, I don't believe that that child is should be automatically a citizen of the country. But that right now, that's what happens. Um, I'd like to okay. see that changed. So in your world, only individuals who are American citizens are actually uh, living beings if the mother is an American citizen, then that child uh, gets all of the privileges of an American citizen uh, at conception, not at birth. Well, so the fetus has rights only when it's an American mother. No, there are right. There are differences between rights and citizenship. So okay. uh, if 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 a, a fetus uh, is there with someone who's in the country illegally, mm -hmm. obviously there are rights that are. Uh, available to that fetus as well as to the mother, yeah. um, but but I would argue that those rights don't extend to automatically becoming a citizen. All right, uh, let's go down this rabbit hole. You agree with this? You want this uh, dynamic to return back to the state? Let me take you to Alabama. Alabama passed a law in May of 2019 that said if a woman is raped or if she's pregnant due to incest, molestation included. She's still mandated to have the child. That was actually Alabama law until the court overturned it. Now, Alabama law also stated that the penalty for the rapist would be between five to 10 years. The penalty for the mother or the pregnant woman seeking an abortion can be between 15 to 25 years. And the penalty of the doctor who performed the abortion under that law would receive up to 99 years in prison. So you are okay with laws like that now permeating in places like Alabama. You have no issue with those. No, I wouldn't say I have no issue with those, but I would say this. But what issue do you have? Well, well, I'd say, let me let me say a few things. So I, I would say this. Uh, one, I don't. That's not the law that this that this particular court is ruling on today, correct? Or or this court session, correct? Uh, it is, sir. What they're ruling on is a Mississippi case that they're ruling on. Right. But the ruling, in fact, is a ripple effect that allows the states to determine how they deal with the question of a woman's right to choose. So you're playing word games here. It would allow the state of Alabama to pass laws that just got overturned. Are you in agreement with what Alabama did in 2019? Well, I, I, I am for states' rights. Okay. Uh, and, and I do believe that the citizens of Alabama have a right to determine. You know, one of the things that you're talking about uh, are cases that are, are so extremely rare. If you looked at the data, uh, the, the, the getting pregnant via rape is less, it's statistically, they don't even have it. It's, it's so rare, it's less than half of 1%. Uh, and, and incest uh, is less than 1%. I mean, so you're talking about very rare cases. Okay, let's of, do this, this. Al, since you want to play that damn game. You realize it's a lower statistical ratio for murder. Like people murder people at a lower statistical rate uh, than rape. Did you know that? Did, let me ask you this. Sir, did you did, know that murder is a lower statistical ratio than rape and incest in America? Did you know that, Al? The, I I don't know that I don't believe okay, so it's I'm I don't believe that. it's a lower statistical okay, it's occurrence lower, than incest. Sir, it's I don't lower, believe it's lower than incest. Yes, sir. Murder is a lower ratio than incest and rape. That is a fact. Now, do we all of a sudden start saying that murder should not be punishable appropriately because it happens to such a small portion of the population? Here's how you're looking at it, and this is real unfortunate, Hal. You're looking at this based on a pure numbers dynamic. This is about impact to the human being and okay. to the culture and society. Well, let's a play murder, the impact game. A, a murder has great and significant impact to the society. You do agree with that, correct? I agree, and let's a play rape the impact. has great and significant impact to the society. You do agree with that, correct? I, I agree with that. So you stand against the Alabama law that was passed in 2019, well, right? I, let's let's play the impact game do one, you one step further. stand against the law? Let's let's go one step further. You plan is that. the is the child that's born as a product of rape? Does that child have less rights in your mind than someone else? Let me answer that question clearly. I do not believe a fetus is a child. Now I can take you through a biblical dynamic. I can take you through a life processes dynamic 
But let me ask you this, because you have a fundamental difference. I'm talking about being born. The child was born. Sir, if the child is born, that child is a human being. I'm talking about the fetus that comes from the rape or the incest uh, that has been visited upon the woman. Under no circumstance in this country should a woman be forced to birth that kind of of uh, to birth that child or to bring forth that fetus. How that's common sense, brother. At How nine months, agree at with nine that. nine months. Sir, I'm talking about during the stage that they can actually legally obtain an abortion based on the Roe v. Wade decision. And in states in this country, you can get an abortion. In DC, you can get an abortion at nine months. Okay, are you gonna answer the question or not? Well, that's what I'm saying. You okay. said that, are you, that are you going child- to answer the question. Are you for the Alabama decision in 2019 or do you stand against it? It is barbaric, it is antithetical to common I, sense. Do you stand against that kind of law that would mandate a rape victim having to birth a child? I, I'm not familiar with that law. So How I'm are not you not familiar say, with the law? Hell, that I'm, was one of the main stories in 2019, <laughs> sir. You call yourself no. a conservative, you don't remember that law? I, I'm just, I haven't read the text of that law. So you're, what you're saying is that if someone is uh, is impregnated as a result of rape, that they wouldn't be allowed to have an abortion. Let, let me ask. I, I, okay, is that, okay, does that mean you, you can't answer, take the morning after pill? Can Can you answer the question, brother? By way of policy, by way of policy, are you in agreement with a law that would prohibit a woman who's a victim of rape or molestation or incest from having an abortion? Are you okay with that kind of law? Because that law has already been a law in the United States of America in 2019 in a state called Alabama. I, I think that if someone is impregnated via rape or mm-hmm. incest, that there are ways to make sure via the morning after pill and other ways to make sure that they do not have to carry a baby from that incident. So I, I think that that's available and so you're be. okay with the morning after pill, but you're not okay to stand up to Republican lawmakers it, and say very clearly, you should not make policies that force or criminalize a woman who has been raped from seeking an abortion of the fetus. I, You're I not willing to say that. I, I don't believe they're criminalizing women and I don't yes, also- Yes, they are. Yes, the 2019, again, the law in 2019 said a woman would get 15 to 25 years and the doctor would get up to 99 years. If if the woman if if the baby is seven eight nine months I don't okay. think that you All can right, do there that. You, go. you you are well. It's, it's interesting. True. Do you know what Roe v Wade was about? Do you even know the history of Roe v Wade? Yes. Okay. The Roe v Wade was about criminal prosecution of a mother. From Texas. That's correct. Dallas County, Texas. It was about criminal prosecution of a mother. You just said this is not about criminalizing the woman. That's a damn lie. The entire genesis of the case that started in 1970 had finality in 1973 through the Supreme Court was very clear. This was about the government, i.e. the district attorney in Dallas County prosecuting a woman criminally for getting an abortion. Well, then, then know why did they about? expand it? Then why did they expand it to a fictional right of privacy to the entire country and and say that because of their this right to privacy, that abortion was constitutionally protected. You're saying that a woman does not have a right to privacy as it relates to what the government can tell her to do with her body? I, I, that's what the Democrats have said since okay. the, the pandemic you know, this came is, out. This is so interesting. You, do you, you have believe to, you're forced to get a vaccine. But sir, can the government force you to wear a mask? Are you okay with the government forcing you to wear a mask? You know, no, I'm not okay with the government okay, forcing you're, you're people not to wear okay. a mask. Wait a minute, you're not okay with the government saying wear a mask for public safety. But you are okay with the government mandating a woman what she can and cannot do with her body. They already do that, you can't inject oh, oh, heroin. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, brother. you can't inject heroin into your body wait a minute. Uh, heroin as a is female, just because it's heroin, your body. Heroin is an illegal substance. You, uh, can't, so you can't commit suicide. You can't commit suicide in in most states, sir. sir you're making dumbass points. No, I'm, I'm trying not. to save you from yourself, Hal. You, you said are you, you said there's you laws against what a woman for, can do with her body, sir. Are you saying on this show that the government is government intrusion if the government mandates you to wear a mask, but it's not government intrusion if the government mandates what a woman can or cannot do? with her own biological processes inside of her body. Is it, that the proclamation you're making on my show today? It, in one instance, you're talking about a life, and the other instance, you're not. Where do I mean, you get the idea? Are you a Christian man? Yes. 
You believe the Bible says that life begins at conception. Do you believe that? Uh, I believe that life begins at conception, but I, I'm not sure that the Bible says that life begins at conception. You know, the Bible actually says it does not. Did you know that? I, I, I didn't say that it did or didn't, but- But I, I'm asking, did you know that the Bible says that a fetus is not a person? Did you know that? I, I don't I don't think that's correct, but- Okay, uh, Exodus chapter 21 verses 22 through 25. Mm -hmm. There's if a man strikes a pregnant woman and the pregnant woman miscarries the child, the man who struck the woman will have to pay a civil fee because of the miscarried child. Exodus 21, 22 through 25. And then the next verse says, if the woman dies, if the woman dies, then the life of that man would have to be submitted. Meaning the woman is considered a person, but the fetus, the miscarried fetus in Exodus 21 is not. Because if the fetus was considered a person, the man who caused the miscarriage would have to die under the Deuteronomy code. Did you know that? Well, you, you, you called it a fetus and you substituted between fetus and child. Is the fetus referred to as a child in Exodus Sir, or is it referred to as a fetus? It actually says the word miscarry. Mm -hmm. If the mother, if the pregnant woman miscarries, there's a if, civil penalty. Do you well, see let's get the to modern clear, times? Do you see the if, clear illustration if, that even in biblical times, the fetus was not considered a person? Because when you kill a person, the Old Testament scripture says that your life must be revoked. Did did, did well, well right now? If you yeah. were to if you were to kill a fetus inside a woman uh, and deliberately do that, that's a crime in this country. It is a crime. It is a crime and an assault, and it should be a crime. The issue that I think you continue to conflate is this horrible policy as it relates to states creating these extreme laws that take away a woman's right to choose, but you still want freedom to not wear a mask. You want freedom to work in the medical profession and not have to get a vaccination. But you well, don't want women to have freedom over their own biological processes. Well, where, their wait own a minute, where, how, do, how do you connect those? Because, uh, because the mask mandate was a dictate, it wasn't passed into law. So Alabama, you're saying, wait a minute, executive, wait a minute, brother. They've had elected the, officials pass those laws. There wasn't a law passed to you have to wear a mask. That was just a mandate from so an individual. Once again, there is no law called Roe v. Wade. There is no law that overturns Roe v. Wade. This is called common law. It is case law. You don't have a law regulating this either. Did you know that? <laughs> but it's it's only been okay. law since 1973. So it's it's do you realize that argument law since 1981? Sir, what's your point? Part, part, well, because part of the argument that's addressed in the ruling that hasn't that was leaked is that uh, that under the 14th Amendment, a lot of people on the left say under the 14th Amendment that it's effectively settled law. That's effectively what they're saying. No, sir, wait a minute. People on the left didn't just say that. Remember Gorsuch, a conservative justice now, and Kavanaugh when he was interviewing to be a justice said the very same thing. They both said it was settled law. Were they lying? I, we haven't even seen the ruling but yet. But sir, so were I, they I, lying? I don't believe they were lying. No, but they I said it was settled law, correct? I, I Well, I, I think what they were saying is that they would give deference to previous Sir, laws. They said but it was settled law. Now, here's the other thing, and this is really ironic that Democrats don't talk about these numbers. Uh, you do realize that over the past, what, 20 plus years, that Democrats have actually decreased the number of abortions in the United States of America, and Republicans have increased the number of abortions in the US. Did you know that? <laughs> uh, what what do you mean by they've increased them or decreased them? The sharpest drop in abortion rates have only happened under Democratic presidents in this country. Did you know that? Well, then good for them. It sounds like y'all should run on that. Well, it sounds like they need to message it. I'm glad you didn't fight me on those numbers, brother. I would have had to <laughs> chop you up. I appreciate you being on the show. Thank you, Hal. Thank you.